Hello everyone, this is the Godfather Dictator and welcome back to my watchdog walkthrough. This is part 5. We're playing on realistic mode, no damage so far, and uh, everything is going well. And here this is another mission. Uh, first of all, you gotta hack the cell phone of one of the guard's daughter or is it the witness uh, we'll see don't remember and I will also be starting a new series eventually but uh, I talked about it before but it will be a series uh, on how to improve your gaming you know how to become a better gamer and uh, the thing you can do you know to succeed and get better of course so here I knew where she was because I previously did it and I didn't want to lose any time and I also tried a uh, multiple way to uh, get rid of the guard that would uh, do the transfer with the witness that you actually I think need to go uh, well intimidate in the prison I think it's the next mission I'm not too sure but we'll see so uh, the series on how to improve your gaming uh, it will be over of course couple of video i wouldn't be doing it uh, in one video and there i was trying to go uh well in the window <laughs> because uh, i thought it was a door it wasn't a door at all so there uh you want to of course make sure that this guy doesn't reach his uh well his destination and um the best way to get rid of him, in my opinion, is simply to use the IAD. IAD, I think, is an improvised explosive device. And here is one of the performance car. It's one that goes pretty fast. And here, why I put the waypoint there is simply because I think it's a good point to, uh, you know, cut uh, the target half track if you want. And um, I tried multiple way. Of course, I tried, uh, you know, just going after him and uh, try to hack into a traffic light. Uh, well, anything really, and it didn't work to uh, the best of what I could do, if I may say. I don't know, but it was just not satisfying, and it was way too long. So I decided to just explode the piece of shit. And basically, once you uh, get rid of him, you just gotta um, evade his goon, you know? It's like, eliminate all the enemy or uh, escape. So, it's one or the other. So, you want to place the IED in the middle of the road because, well, the, the target will most likely be going in the middle lane. So, it will be easier and even... If he isn't in the middle lane, I'm pretty sure the blast radius would probably explode him anyway. So there he is. I'm just going to wait that the first enemy car moves away so that then I can hack the bomb device and explode the freaking target. There you go. And after you see kill Angelo Tucci and after kill Angelo's allies or escape and me I always choose to escape to be honest if I if I have a opportunity this is what I do because if I end up in a gunfight like I said I will most likely not be able to do no damage especially on realistic mode where you take a couple of bullet and uh, you pretty much die so and here I'm not sure if I will do a takedown and the focus when you're riding your car it's not working really well to be honest because if you slightly press your joystick too much on the left or on the right as soon as you get out of the focus you will like start sliding on the ground like crazy and it I don't know it's supposed to work to the best of my advantage and here I take down the car but I also block myself well done T that was pretty stupid to be honest but at the same time I do evade the enemy which was a pretty good maneuver even though it was stupid 
Like, I didn't plan that because I knew it was going to do a takedown, but I didn't want to take down myself. So this is another mission done, and we'll be heading right after this to the next mission. Done. No more prison transfer. Now, I need to find a way inside that prison. Go face to face with my witness. Palin Correctional Center. They recently upgraded the place with Bloom's state-of-the-art security. Network locks, automated surveillance. If they were holding the guy in an older prison, I'd have a problem. But Bloom's right on this one. They do make life easier through technology. Now, next mission, we gotta infiltrate a prison. In order to do that, we gotta get ourselves arrested and put in jail. In a cell, of course. And why? Because you wanna reach a witnesses that knows something about you. Don't know what though, because I don't watch the cutscene. But, yeah, that's the concept. And here I like this little part where you can hack the camera of the guard to be able, well, to go around <laughs> the map without, you know, getting out of your cell. It's pretty nice. Also, I decided to do this mission in single segment. And like I mentioned before in other game, I said that doing mission in single segment is always harder simply because if you get it anywhere during the mission you gotta restart at the beginning and when you're going around with the camera of the guard try to highlight all the guard in the area if you want to take them all down in a stealthy manner because if you don't mark them and when I say mark them there's no special button to mark them okay you simply have to uh, go over them with your camera and it will mark them but if you don't mark them, you won't see everyone, of course, and you can be surprised by someone that, well, you simply didn't know he was there. And if, for example, you simply want to, well, walk past the guard, don't follow this strategy. But if you want to uh, knock them all down, you know, for more point, of course, well, follow this route, or of course, any route that suits you, really, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, you will simply get more point, like I mentioned before. Be careful of that guard inside that little office. After this, you will open this door by hacking the little server device. Knock this guy out, then proceed back here. You will go inside the office and knock this guy out make sure you don't go too fast because there I almost opened the door and that was a bit reckless and I got careless and here look at the stealth running how it works wonder you can run make it close to the guard and he doesn't even move at all he doesn't even know you're there really so after all this there will be one guard left Make sure you go through all the offices so that you can, of course, pick up, well, everything that's lying around that could be useful to you. Here is the main task. After uh, this one guard left, we'll run the stealth sprint, take him down. Like I said, all these take down here are easy point, in my opinion. So, another stealth section here. You will act the camera of this guy and wait for him to move so you can act the next camera and then act the server to be able to open the door in this area here and of course I will be taking down these two guard 
four more points and simply because like he's looking right in front of him I don't want to have to crouch you know uh, behind the cover just so that uh, he doesn't spot me make sure here wait that he turn his head on the left and then right boom take advantage of that just well you don't kill the piece of shit you knock him down so here another puzzle and uh, these puzzles are uh, most of the times simple logic you know so uh, just follow the logic guys and uh, it should be really easy and there you gotta find the prisoner but I knew where it was already because I did the mission already <laughs> so I know where he is and now these corrupt cop are gonna bring him down in the prison basement to well torture him hit him you know and uh, they want some kind of bribe I guess because that that's what being a corrupt cup is all about and the next part there's a gunfight and here I was profiling everyone I think it's funny you know to read uh, <laughs> what some people have done like former reality uh, former t TV reality star or something like this uh, so now you gotta head into the basement to go save the witness well you I don't know you you're going to you're going to intimidate him but you have to save him so that they don't kill him and like I said I don't watch the cutscene so I can't tell you what it's all about but uh, if you want to know well watch just the cutscene of the game the next encounter against the corrupt cop there's no way to do it stealthy you don't have a choice but to turn it into a gunfight here they give you a shotgun for this again use the camera to tag all the enemies around by simply looking at them after this you will act to open the door and I will show you a strategy here that is pretty damn boss if you want to go shoot this part really easy enter a bit okay shoot these guys okay look I got two headshot and stay on the side of this cover right here I know it may sound cheap but I was doing that previously also in Vanquish and I know not a lot of people have watched my Vanquish walkthrough and if you don't know this game it's an incredibly hard game and that if anyone for example want to have fun and play a hard game well I recommend Vanquish and it's it's really fast paced but all this to say that there's some kind of weird advantage that you can take in many game like this using the cover where the enemy cannot hit you now the only thing that you gotta be careful with this strategy is make sure as soon as you kill the last guy that you head inside the room again because as you just saw there's an enforcer right there and these guys are no joke and because I don't have the enforcer takedown yet but I actually bought it later uh, I cannot take him down you know close range and shooting these guys uh, I don't know I never tried but I assume they take a lot of bullet so here I shoot him and you want to attract this guy inside this room right here why because there's an explosive panel well I call that explosive panel simply because you can act in the panel and then explode the piece of shit but then he decide not to go up and try I guess to flank me but it won't work because I know your game you piece of shit so there you wait for him look he's shooting at you you just wait that he gets inside the room and then boom you take him down after this there will be two more corrupt cop going inside and if you can flank him it's pretty simple uh, can go around them because they think you're in another position so you can use that to your advantage if you want use a uh, the focus right here to get headshot four more point there it is there's one guy left I'll be using the shotgun to take him down because I know it will be moving forward and then I'm shooting a box and then I headshot the piece of shit <laughs> so it went pretty well overall but yeah this fight can be really hard if you want to do it no damage but uh, with this cool strategy of the cover like I show uh, when you first enter the room and you just well go back and make sure you're not actually inside works really well so here there's a care package for me it's actually my suit and also I never mentioned that but in one of the previous part uh, 
I changed my suit uh, after doing one of the mission. I started it and I was like, ah, no, I just quit the mission and changed my suit because I realized that there was a code behind the manual of Watchdog. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's because I didn't pre-order pre it, but I bought it at midnight release. And often when you do that, you get uh, some extra stuff with it, you know. And I also got new stuff from the Uplay. So here, you run down these stairs, okay. It's pretty easy to get here, hit here. And here, why I do this, no, I didn't get hit. It's simply because it distracts the cop. And that's what I wanted to do. Because if you don't do that, they will be shooting at you. And uh, it's really easy to get hit. So after this, you go down. And most of the time, you get out, I think, on the first floor of the garage. And there will be a car here. And, well, you will use it to make your escape. And make sure you don't stop because there's some police officer down there with some assault rifle. And when they start shooting at you, they're no joke. So here, why I'm taking this direction is because I know right in front of me, there's a garage door that I will be hacking and this way I can evade the cop well a lot faster and it's a lot easier look at this here you hack this and then you hack it again and you see they didn't follow me now there's one in front of me and there's actually one behind but I'm like fuck that <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of there I actually miss I thought uh, you know I was like yes I got this but no I didn't so here I still gotta evade these guys the best way to evade the cop most of the time and the enemy as I said before is to use different bridges because they don't seem to be able to follow you when you open up bridges you see here and also because of that make a police crash which was not my intention at all this wasn't planned. I just thought it was funny. And there I come to escape. And there's another freaking police officer right in front of me. I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. Then go right side before he sees me. And I got really lucky there. I can evade these guys. And this is another long mission. I think that was pretty hard. And uh, went pretty well. So... I know it was a pretty short part, but it was actually shorter than other parts. It's simply because there were less missions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part as usual. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe. There will be more videos to come. And I will see you on the next part. Peace out.